Hey, welcome back. Next uh, video for using Emacs. And um, I wanted to get a little bit to org mode and or a little bit back to org mode. And so we've got our configuration up here already. And if you recall, org mode is this mode you can put code in here. We're going to do other types of code later on. You can open things up with tabs and close them. You can move things up and down. It's this really cool highlight and outlining mode. But I use it for tons of other stuff. And I want to get to some of the um, some of my favorite stuff today, um, org capture. But first, let's set up a little bit of the configuration. I did the org bullets here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here um, off screen for a second. And um, I'm just going to copy a few things over and I'll talk about them as I do them. So let's see, let's first copy these guys over. So uh, first I'm setting some variables for org. So one is my org directory is going to be up on Dropbox. So this is where I keep my main org files. Um, this guy is going to go into the org directory for notes. I don't actually use this file. It was kind of in a, a copy a, um, a configuration that I already used. Um, so I don't even think there's anything in there. Um, exporting will come back to. High deleting stars um, makes a... With org bullets mode, this doesn't seem to make a difference, but um, if you're not using org bullets, it kind of dims the leading star so it looks more like in a, a um, an outline. Um, start up with an overview mode. Um, anyway, so this is uh, just some configuration. Um, this is, I want events to open um, my PDF files when I open them. This one will come back to later also. It's for agenda. Um, so that's when I do my schedule stuff. Uh, we're going to kind of allude to that a little bit today. A um, couple of other things here. Um, oh, yeah, I'll just copy all these over. What the hell? Uh, so then, uh, auto completion, org AC, that does the completion for me. Um, so this is an auto complete sor uh, source. If you use company mode, um, this is not going to be really good for you, but if you use org mode, this lets me do stuff like uh, it pops up all the options for that. I'm, I'm kind of liking it right now. Um, again, we're going to come back to agenda later on, but these are just the agenda files I use. My main org file is i.org for index.org. Um, I used to use schedule.org to keep my meetings and stuff, but I'm now moving it over to another file, gcal.org, because I'm syncing with Google Calendar, which we'll cover later. And until I pass the date with all this on schedule.org, I'm just going to leave that there. Um, so that's there. And um, then I'll copy some over some other stuff afterwards. So let me just run this. Actually, I don't have to run this because it's all. Um, let me actually move this a little bit. Make sure I can see the bottom. Um, I'm going to leave this for. I don't have to run this because I just copied this over from uh, somewhere else. I'm just going to go over to go to off frame for a second and I'm just going to make a little change um, which you're not going to see and yes so let's see if that worked all right so um, basically I've been starting to use org mode to capture things, and that's what this control CC is. So if I just do control CC, uh, by default, org mode lets you record a task, or you can customize your org templates. And I actually have done some customizations, and that's, that's what I was commenting out a second ago. And so I'm going to copy these over, uh, let's see, to here, and copy these in. And then we'll talk about them in a second. I'm hoping this works right. I'm going to mark this and do Alt semicolon to uncomment these. And basically, what Word Capture lets you do, if we actually run this code here, and then I'll go through it, um, it lets you do more than just capturing tasks. So here, I'm going to record an appointment, a note, a link, a blog idea, etc. And I'll show you how each of these work. Um, so actually, let's go, my appointments are going to go to gcal.org. So, um, and what this says, so if I do control CC for org capture, you'll see here I get, ah, um, wrong thing there. You'll see appointment, note, link, blog idea, to do, and journal, which match up A for appointment, N for note, etc. 
and uh, let's control G out of that. And what you'll then see is it says, hey, I want to put stuff into a file and a headline. Um, the file is going to be gcal.org, and it's going to be appointments. So what I'm going to do here is let's go to gcal.org. Um, and we should have appointments in here somewhere. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, but anyway, what I'll do is I'll leave it on the bottom for now. And let's say I make an appointment. So I do control CC, and I don't have to have this up here. Let's make a new appointment. Hit the wrong key there, that's a problem. Control CC A for an appointment. And it asks me to choose a date. So let's make it Friday the 18th. I could type in a time, 3 p.m., enter. It comes over here, I can type stuff to do. And notice as I'm typing, it's updating it all here. And then I can I can refile it, but usually either abort with control CK or finish with control CC. Um, and then there it is, or, or it's somewhere in this file. Um, stuff to do. Is that the one I just did? Yes, it is. Uh, so that's putting it in there. Um, I'm going to actually get rid of this because I don't want it here anymore. Save the file and kill the buffer and quit out of all of this stuff. So that's how the appointment works. Now, how did I know this? It's all in the documentation. If you look up, and I've got this somewhere here. No, yeah, here we go. If we look up on the website, um, the org manual, and I'll put links to this in the blog post, um, it has information about the templates, but then it says here, look, the first is the, the keystroke, then the description, then the type. Is it going to be an entry? Is it going to be an item, etc.? cetera? Um, the path to the target, the path to the file, or is it a file with a sub-entry in it, etc.? And then you've got all these substitutions. So, for example, for the appointment, I basically use a template. It's going to be a star to do. It's going to have... We'll come back to this. This is where the cursor is left afterwards to type in stuff. Uh, then it's going to have these properties, new line, new line, n. The T is for a timestamp. The percent %i I'll talk about in a second. Um, the other one I use are blog ideas. So if we go to, um, let's go here. So for blog ideas, actually let's stop here for a second. Um, it's going to store it in i.org under blog topics. And it's going to put a timestamp in it, but this control question mark is going to let me type in more stuff. And uh, the prepend PT, I think, should make it prepend. So let's go to i.org. And it's hard to see under. And let's look at our blog ideas, uh, blog topics. Am I not set up right? Oh, blog topics, yes. So um, if I've got my blog topics here, window two, uh, we've got a whole bunch of blog topics, some of which I've done, some I haven't. I've archived a lot of these. But let's do again, let's do control CC. Let's make a blog idea. And this is a demo from the screencast, control CC. Should I reread it from disk? Yes. Um, Oh, well, I put it over here on blog topics. So why did it not? Oh, I may have had two entries in this blog topics. Ah, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Ah, I'm losing track. Oh, I actually have two of these, so it's putting it down here. I did I have two of these? Um, anyway, I'll have to check on that. But we'll do one more of these. Let's get rid of this for now. And let's actually make... a new org capture template. And then in the next video, I'll show you a really, really cool way of using this. And so what, let's make um, the capture template is going to be, uh, let's call it S. It's going to be for screencast ideas. And that's going to be for a screencast idea. And it'll be an entry. And it's going to be the file is going to be my home directory, Dropbox, org files, 
Um, and I'm calling this screencastnotes.org. And my template is going to be star question mark, or uh, rather percent question mark, that's where the cursor will be left. And then percent I, and let's close, whoops. Let's close all these guys. And now let's run this. And if we did this right, now if we do control C A, sorry, control C C, we now can record a screencast idea. So let's just have a, let's see, um, a great idea. Control C C. And now if I go to my screencast ideas, so let's see, that's going to be under org file screencast notes.org. And I had a great idea. Let's get rid of that one. And let's do it again. And let's just do it differently. Let's do it by um, putting in, let's say we had, and this is where this, um, this is where this, am I in the right file here? Oh, no. Yeah, this is why I don't like this. Uh, I can't see what's coming up underneath here. Uh, so let me just move this up here. Oh. Myinit.org. Um, this is where this percent I comes in. Let's say I have something like, like here's some stuff I want to capture. And let's say I have this marked, and now I do Control CC screencast, and notice how it puts in here some stuff I want to capture. A brilliant idea. And now I mean I get rid of this one here. Screencastidea.org. I don't know where this is. I'm kind of losing track. A brilliant idea. So this is a little bit long and it's been a little fast, but it looks really intimidating, but it really isn't that big of a deal. Um, but I use these all the time, these capture templates, and the next video I'm going to show you how I use it um, for some really cool stuff, okay? So uh, we're going to stop here and that's it.